Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone for being with me here today. We are looking at your next major relationship, Aries. So we're going to see what you can expect from this relationship, the kind of person this will be, anything we can learn about that. So um, stay tuned. If there's anyone out there after a private reading with me, please feel free to email me. I am currently accepting private readings. So I'll send through all the booking information that you need. Uh, also, if you wanted to become a channel member and get access to bonus readings and extended versions and videos only for members, uh, please feel free to join up. Uh, all you have to do is click on the join button on the homepage of my channel. Uh, please subscribe to the channel as well. That would be very much appreciated. Uh, otherwise, let's have a look and see... Um, Aries, your next major relationship. Aries, okay. Okay, Paige. Uh, Page is coming up here, so it may be someone who's younger than you, Aries. So you've got maybe someone who has a bit of an age gap to you. Lots of fire energy. Okay, lots of fire energy next to this person. Okay, they've got a uh, Virgo energy. Let's crown the reading. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Um, all right, so for a lot of you, this next relationship could be with someone. If, if they have that Ten of Pentacles... What I'm getting, Aries, for a lot of you is that this person either has children or you have had children with this person before. So for a lot of you, it's definitely getting back together with an ex and giving things another chance, um, especially if you have like a family together. So obviously you guys have history and I feel like it may be someone who you have children with. Uh, if not, Aries, it could be someone who does have kids already. Okay, so you've got this... Um, they, they may have children and you may have this like new family dynamic that's going to come with this relationship. Um, I feel like with the three of, uh, with the ten of pentacles, it could be someone you know through work uh, or someone you know through the community. Maybe they live in your childhood neighborhood. Maybe they go to the same gym you do. Maybe you visit the same bank together. There's something that you share that almost makes you like a part of the same community. I get that it's a very traditional person. They're ambitious, they're results driven, um, they're money driven. I feel like they're coming up with a successful energy. So I'm picking up that this person is quite successful in what they do, there's success around them. Uh, this person may have their own business. I also feel like they could be very close with the family. Like, I'm getting a very large traditional family that this person comes from. Um, and they have a lot of special relationships with the people in their family. Uh, they could work with animals or children, housing, the corporate realm, um, anything like that. There could definitely be a love for animals here as well. So I feel like coming into your life, this person, you, you might be connecting through like an event, like it could be an, a, a, a neighborhood thing, a community program, night school, uh, maybe an event, okay, could be at a, married, uh, at a marriage ceremony, an engagement of some kind, um, it could be through law or litigation uh, that you're meeting, and also like anything to do with entrepreneurial activity, the Hierophant, anything that you saw, uh, sorry, the, the Hermit. My mind is just not cooperating with me today. So I apologize, apologize if I'm saying things and they aren't making sense. Okay. I'm not concentrating. The hermit. Okay. This could be a sign. Maybe this person is, is very bad on concentration like I am today. Um, they're a little bit all over the place. Frazzled energy. Uh, but look, the hermit is coming up. So it can be like anything you sort of have a hobby for. Like... If you go out to a pottery class or you go out to cooking classes or you like reading in the park alone, like something that you enjoy doing on your own or something you wanted to start on your own, that could be the way in which the both of you meet. 
but look, they are a bit of a perfectionist. Um, they could be younger and older. We've got young and we've got older with the hermit. So I do think for a lot of you, there's a massive age gap that I'm picking up. For some of you, it could even be like a decade or more. So there's quite a bit of a difference in age um, between the both of you, I feel. Because we've got that page or, or it's like they had kids very young, if they've got grown kids or they want to have kids when they're older. There's something that they want to do in their life when they're older. It's something big or it's something that they've already done when they were younger. Either way, okay, there's marriage potential with this person in this relationship. I do feel with the four of ones, you're going to be very happy with them. But the judgment card tells me there is some legal things coming up in this relationship. Some of you might sign an asset, buy an asset, you know, sign a lease. You're going to do something, um, something legal because the judgment is here. But I also feel like um, this is a relationship that's going to be at in the public and judged by other people somehow. So I don't know if this person is like a podcaster, for example, and they're going to share everything about your relationship intimately with other people or like um, they've got their own YouTube channel and they'll share memories and videos of you guys together. It could be that. Uh, what else? could be like um they're just going to be really like open and explicit with your relationship together like on social media because I feel like this is a relationship that's going to be judged now it may be by the family as well especially if I've got this large family it's intimidating my god will it be intimidating like you have to get on with everyone and every you want everyone to like you like there's a lot of pressure that comes with that Aries not that you're not capable of doing it you are but it's going to come with its own challenges, I feel. So I want to sort of let you know that you may be judged. Um, or I feel like this somehow this relationship is on a platform where a lot of people can judge you. Uh, could be a lot of like jealous or sticky beaks, jealous people or sticky beaks in social media comments that may say some negative things about your relationship because they may not come from a good place. Like, you know, judgment comes in many forms. So you might also be very, like, your relationship might also be idolized by some people. And they're like, oh, I wish I had that. But I feel like it's going to be on a public stage somehow. Um, lots of fire energy. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, seven, sorry, seven. Seven fire cards. So strong fire energy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they have strong Aries, Sag or Leo placement in their birth chart as well. Mm, but very strong attraction. I get that this relationship is going to ignite or happen very fast. And I feel like it's impulsive. Like the both of you are going to be very impulsive in this relationship. Now, if that is the case and you both share a lot of fire energy in both your charts, that's going to be an issue because you're going to have to handle that somehow. Uh, you're going to have to be better at handling this person and they're going to have to get try to get better at handling you because you're both very similar and if you have the both of you reacting to things the same way and you have the same temperaments and you get angry at things very easy or you get impulsive at times um you know it's it it makes things tough because one of you has to let their guard down one of you has to um let yourself down to the other like things like this need to happen So what I think this is pointing to is you'll have to sort of pride, you'll have to sort of maneuver your pride and your person will too. And maybe that's the lesson that's tied into what you need to both learn. Um, but I feel like I feel like it'll be worth it and I feel you're going to change a lot about yourself for them but it's for the better it's more positive changes rather than negative and I feel like a lot of you are going to do things you probably never have done in a relationship before uh, like say I love you first or move in together or want to take a holiday or plan a huge surprise for them like you're going to do things for this person because I think 
I think these changes that they're going to make for you, you're really going to enjoy the person you'll become with them. So I see a lot of empowerment. I do. The angel is here. Is telling uh, it's telling me that this protection, uh, this relationship is pr uh, is protected. So there's protection around this relationship. You have fate or the universe that's protecting the both of you. Um, he looks for the light. So Aries, you know, I know inner happiness comes from within. Happiness, um, you know, comes comes from within. But I feel what I'm seeing in the cards is that you are somehow going to find your life purpose with this person or through this relationship. It's almost like it's going to be the key that unlocks the door to what your soul's purpose is in this in this lifetime. Now, that's a pretty big statement. And as I said before, like, yes, this person needs to be uh, contribute to the source of your happiness. Um, but you can't just be like, oh, I'm, I'm happy in life now that I'm with them. It has to come before that happiness is a state that needs to come before you meet this person. But I think they are going to bring in a lot into your life and they are going to help you discover a path. They're going to shine light on something. And it's something very deep and personal about yourself. And it's a revelation that will come to you and they're going to help you come to that revelation somehow, that realization or epiphany. Uh, yeah, I see it to be them. I see that you will be more aware of what you want out of life with them. Now, this could be in different ways, like maybe they'll help you start up a business. Um, maybe they'll make you realize that you do want marriage and you do want that certificate. You do want children. We've got the judgment card has children in here. So does the Ten of Pentacles. So it's very likely there's there could be like a bit of pressure in this relationship to have children or to have more children um, as well. You know, it's it's not going to be an easy, easy task. I feel like there's a lot to overcome, but I feel like anger and having your guard up, you're going to work through these things with this person's help. So they're going to help you through this. They're going to be there for you and help you through it. And some of you are sitting out there and saying, oh, I don't need any help. You know, I'm good. I don't need X, Y, and Z. Such a typical fire thing to think. Um, but I already know what some of you are thinking, and it's that. Um, but you'll be surprised, Aries. Let them be there for you if they want to help. If they want to be a part of their, your journey, that obviously says a lot. And if they can do something in their own way to show you that they love you, that they care for you, that they want to be a part of this journey you know, let them, let them prove themselves to you, let them love you in their own way, you know, people have different ways of expressing their love, and I feel like that's what you're going to get with this person, but they'll be very proud, they're going to be very proud of you, and there's a big leveling up, I mean, it could happen to both of you, it could be reversed, and you might be in this helpful role for them, and you may be able to change their life, uh, in a massive way here, a way that, that, that they didn't think possible. And, you know, suddenly you'll come into each other's lives and just make that happen for each other. So that's beautiful in itself. I think that's wonderful to see. And it just goes to show when we place that little bit of trust, um, it can go a very, very long way. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Aries, I do hope that has been helpful. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. That would be very much appreciated. Um, all the best. I hope you're very happy in this relationship. There's, there's lots to look forward to here. Um, so good luck, all the best. And until next time, Aries, ciao for now.